at this point in the season. But, uh, you know, Xavier went about half of it and then, you know, had treatment this morning. I think, you know, he'll probably have a little – it'll take a while to get pain-free. But uh, I would anticipate he plays, but, you know, I guess you just never know. What did you learn about your team out there? Well, I think they showed some courage and some toughness and some grit and because it, it seemed like it wasn't going to go right. It just, you know, every time we'd have open shots, we'd have tip-ins, we'd have, you know, different plays. It just uh, it just didn't seem but they it, like it was meant to be, but they kept grinding it out and made some huge plays. And, and it was a variety of guys at the end, a lot of the young guys. Uh, you know, obviously Monte's N one, Dejuan's corner three, Mike's corner three. Um, just a lot of good plays, and you know they responded to a tough situation and got found a way to get a win. How much will it help this team moving forward, having been in the situation both times we've had a claw back? But I think I think both games were helpful. You know. The, where and even you know Wednesday night against Monmouth, we'll have to face another different style team with older players and uh, with a good you know with a good system. So I, you know that last week it helped because we had to go against real teams with good players, older players that had a system, and you had to you know you had to uh, fight for it. And it just it wasn't those early games where you're just you know going through the motions and just winning the game. You had to, so I think we learned a lot, and it was good, uh, you know, to have film to watch and learn from it. We, I think we learned, too. We, You know, everyone guards a little different. You guard one way in, in practice. Now, we try to do some different things, but you can't simulate what other teams do, and, and that part of it helps us now. So now you got film to watch. Hey, when they go under ball screens, this is what we got to look for. If they switch on this, we got to look for this. If they don't guard somebody, we got to look for this. And, you know, so all those things are helpful. How much did Cardi and uh, Xavier in the past couple of games, you know, like Xavier in Vegas had to take over towards the end, and Cartier the first game had to take over towards the end. How much? Will that help those two specifically having different times where they had to take over later? Well, they're different roles. And, and you know, they've all made – both of those guys have made big shots. And, you know, throughout their career, it, you know, it, in late-game situations. But – it's their responsibility now, and that's who everyone's looking for. They got to make not only the big shot, the the right pass, maybe, or the defensive switch, or whatever it might be. So, I think they're all. You know, I always said I've said since the beginning to you guys, we're a new team. I we're young, but we're also new, and so they got new roles, and and they have to they have to learn and about those roles and how they got to fulfill them. How encouraging was it to see the the young guys? step up in key moments oh, it was it was huge and you don't know how they're going to respond and the one thing they did do was play their butts off i mean they let all it's it's ironic they three freshmen let us on our play hard chart you know so and and antonio did some good things after struggling you know that last game uh, kind of just what it, yeah he wasn't ready for the intensity of the game but this time he was um you know played his butt off tip ins took a charge uh you know just did a lot of things he's none of them are perfect by any means and but uh, you know they are trying and trying to do what we ask those numbers aren't jumping off the page here but Montavious what's he done best to start I think you know sometimes um, less is more um, he's just fitting in and doing what he needs to do and he's and he's really doing a good job of preparing and the defensive part uh, I think it's been very, very good. And, you know, it, it, he had a big play in the, uh, you know, in the last two games in, in stretch runs. And so he's not afraid to make those big, you know, those big plays. So that's positive. And I think slowly but surely he'll loosen up offensively. But I like his intensity. I like how, you know, I guess, you, you know, he's a warrior. He, he's not afraid. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't know that, you know, to be honest, a, a couple of weeks ago, I, I I mentioned to somebody, I you know, that first, second week of practice, I thought we might have to redshirt him because this was moving too fast for him and he was not ready. And uh, he's he's made some big strides. How do you address the turnover situation without stifling aggression? 
Well, it's you know some of that's where you watch film and and you know it, uh, just making the easy pass, the right play. Uh, you know it was a physical game and it was an intense game and uh, you know so some of that is part of that. But uh, you know they hopefully when they see the film, you know you drive and there's a guy there. You got you know we had we charged five times, so it, it you know that's that's five of your turnovers right there. Um, and you know we we just got to when teams guard us differently, like I mentioned, we got to adjust and and make the right plays. Specifically in the first half, teams struggled to shoot. I think all yeah, one, we're, for one for twenty-two from three. Yes, I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, in what ways do you remedy that? I think some of it's shot selection. Um, some of it get you know work to get easier baskets early and and feel you know hopefully you feel better about your shot um you know, it, it, some of them are. We've missed some wide open. And I think what's happened, we've we missed some easy ones, and then we panicked and then tried to take some tough ones. And it, you know, you hope it's the other way around. You you make the easy ones, so now you you don't you can make the tough ones later on. So it did. You know, that's all part of it. Uh, you know, growing up and figuring out. You know how what we are as a team, our identity. We don't know yet, and we're and it's you know so early in the season. I think it's funny because we all the Big 12 coaches were talking at media day. You know how the line was going to affect the you know the longer distance, and you know everyone agreed the bad shooters will be worse and. You know, you know, will people be more patient? And you know that. And I was in our practices. We had shot it so well, and and you know because we stat every practice and all our drills. And and obviously in the game we have not shot it well. It doesn't take a genius to figure one for twenty two is not very good. Uh, but uh, you know, I, just kind of figuring out, settling down, and uh, working for a better shot. I hope. What have you seen from Mount Mount on the? You know, he, it, it, so what was it, two years ago, they were really good, and they won, I think, I'm going to say 27 games or something. And, um, and then last year it kind of started over, I, I believe, 0-something, 0-10, 0-12. And, and, um, and then they went on a run and, and made a push in their, their conference championship to the conference championship. So, again, one game away from an NCAA bid. Um, and, I, you know, they have some experience back, uh, you know, kind of, a little bit like North Dakota State in that aspect, uh, different style, a um, little, little more athletic than maybe in North Dakota State. Uh, obviously, King Rice uh, was a great player, you know, played in the Carolina system. Uh, some of the old Carolina stuff, the run and jump, the trap first, pass uh, the the po getting it into the post uh, you know some of their actions that they ran years ago and so it, it you know we will have they got some they get some inside scoring they got some uh, you know they got some guys that get to the paint and make plays isos um, I don't on paper they haven't shot it a lot from three but you know again you know every game's different it's early in the season and you know, we went one road game. They've gone two, and uh, that's not that's not easy. And I think their first five are on the road, from what I what I looked at it. So us then Kansas then at Pittsburgh. Uh, so you know, it's uh, it's still early in the season. You're all we're all trying to figure out it, what we are and and where we're going. I guess. Have you had a team that struggled so severely in the first half and then? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember that. But uh, you know, I, I, the first game, I just thought maybe a little jitters, taking tough shots, you know. And then, but we miss, you know, again, we, I, it was a mixture of against Vegas. We took some tough ones. We took, and we missed some easy ones. And. Um, you know, it, it, I told them the only thing we can do is, one, get in the gym, get more shots up. Two is to work for better ones, you know, where we feel like it's inside out. But we miss some of those, too. So it's, uh, uh, you know, it, hopefully just feel a little more comfortable with ourselves and play with a little more confidence as we move forward. In, in terms of the win, though, and the way you had to do it, I'm curious as to how can this be a confidence-building thing when – Doing it on the road, yeah. playing like that against a really long and athletic team that I think some people are missing. 
Yeah, I, I, pretty big win. Yeah, no, it was a good win for us. I, I mean, they're, we'll see what they do, you know, the next few games. Uh, I think he did a great job. You know, the, they're funny because they scored 90 or something the first game. They were up and down, and they really didn't guard. And then against us, they played their butts off. They played with great emotion, great spirit. They competed. We had to match that. Um, and like I said, it just didn't go right every play. So it, it, it was – it was great for our guys. Now, what do we do with it? That's what I told our guys. One, we got to learn. That's learn and improve. My whole emphasis, the number one thing on the board today will be, you know, to prove ourselves, we have to improve. And and that's that's the whole key. I got a letter from Coach Snyder and a text message. And, you know, he all, you know, the whole thing he talked, obviously it's, it's early, but you got to keep, you know, helping them progress and come along. And I think football, even now football is a great example of – where they were and what they became because you know five weeks ago it was you know not very it didn't look very pretty and and now they're a they're a, they're a very good football team and can move the football and and score points and so it's it's not where you start it's definitely where you finish small enough to with the crazy bench they have a, well that yeah that was two years that was the NCAA tournament year where they had all those uh, they they had some close games and some crazy games and they they got on all the videos and all that stuff and then King can be a little animated a little bit at times also so he had some excitement to it.